Welcome to Chapter 22 of this FE12 H4 Reverse Recruitment LTC. We first give Alice the arm scroll from Chapter 11 to reach A lands. This enables her to use the Gradivus, which she needs for this clear. Michaelis is reclassed to Horseman, and he also receives an arm scroll from Chapter 18 to reach C bow. This enables him to equip the useful Killer bow. Other than those, I'm deploying roughly the same team of units, except that most flyers are now reclassed to paladins. And once again, I'm giving a whole bunch of rainbow potions. In vanilla FE12, Gradivus invented a strategy to clear this map in three turns with two again uses, where Marth and the boss killer both need to be again in turn three. Here, we will clear this map in three turns with only one again use, by taking advantage of Alice's higher movement and letting her be the boss killer herself. In fact, we only have one again use left at this point. So for the last two chapters ahead, we will be staffless. In turn one, Alice first moves up and gets danced by Fina from above. Then Zane copies Alice from below. We'll see that Zane must copy Alice for this clear to work. After this, Chris moves in front of Fina to protect her from the 30 speed Swordmaster on the left side. Here, I swap Chris' weapon to Dragon Pike so that he will leave that Swordmaster above half HP to avoid triggering Fortify. Sniper Gordon replaces Nagi and joins us in this chapter. It seems that he has pretty decent stats. On the right side, Draco Samson chips the nearest Thoron Sorcerer. This sets up a kill for Horseman George. And with this level up, George has now capped both strength and defense. Horseman Michaelis with Killer Bow has just enough damage to crit kill the nearest Berserker. Paladin Alice now moves up to crit kill the Swarm Sorcerer in the middle of the map. At this position, she's just out of the range of the next Swarm Sorcerer up there. But she will still be attacked by a Fire Dragon, a Mage Dragon, and most dangerous of all, a Glower Sorcerer who deals 40 damage irrespective of resistance. Finally, Katarina, Militia, and Lena are going to heal the entire team to full HP. In turn 1 enemy phase, we need to rig Alice to dodge this mage dragon to survive. There is 80 displayed hit or about 8% chance to dodge. Alice weakens 3 enemies while Chris weakens the swordmaster. In turn 2, Tajarina first moves up to kill the wounded Swordmaster. Then Katria moves to the right side to crit kill the dangerous 30 speed 11 Swordmaster.
Gordon chips a mage dragon and sets up the kill for Ast. Then Samson chips a fire dragon and sets up another kill for George. Chris has enough HP to tank the Thoron Sorcerer and kill him. And with Chris's support, Mechanis moves up to crit kill another Berserker who has crazy 44 crit. After this, Fina full moves to dance Zane. Zane can exactly reach the Sauron Sorcerer in the top left corner, who blocks Alice's way to the throne room. If Zane had copied any other unit than Alice, then he would only have 10 moves and be unable to reach this Sorcerer. Once Zane crit kills this Sorcerer, Alice can now full move to be 2 tiles away from the left door. Militia and Lena fortify to conclude this turn. It's important that Lena does not gain luck here. I'll explain the reason in the next chapter. Turn 2 enemy phase was very peaceful. Zing dodged the swarm mage, but it's not necessary. In turn 3, Fina Fu moves a third time to dance Chris to open the left door. Chris has just enough move to reach that door. Then Zane can crit kill the mage dragon behind the door. Mechanis now crit kills the sword master in the throne room from across the wall, creating a path for Alice to reach the throne. Alice is now 14 tiles away from the throne, so with her 12th move, she can exactly attack the boss at 2 range and crit kill with Gradivus. Alice can now be again to cease, so it's cleanup time. The rest of our units take this time to get as much experience as they can. With Samson's support, George is going to get another kill and another level up. Having Killing Edge is so good on Katria.
And now, as militia against Alice to cease, she gets her second impressive level up. We shouldn't be surprised to see strands proc here, because we know from the previous chapter that she is programmed to have greater than 100% strength growth. That's chapter 22 cleared in three turns with one again. See you next time for the forever crazy chapter 23.